We continue our team coverage now. Cities and towns around the state are bracing for a winter storm, Abel, which is expected to move in tomorrow. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio joins us live in the early warning weather tracker with more on the preparations that are already underway today. Good morning, Patricia. Hi, good morning, Caitlin. Yeah, we are on 84 West in Hartford. We'll take a look outside and you can see that the roads are quiet and it is dry. But uh, you may have noticed that there have been, if you've been out on the roads, that the uh, DOT has had trucks out already pre-treating the roads. A winter storm able has certainly been the topic of conversation at Thanksgiving tables if they weren't discussing politics. People busy getting underway to get ready for the storm. Local roads and highways are clear for now, but it is the calm before the storm. The first winter storm of the season is heading to Connecticut and people are getting into action. We buy milk and we did a grocery last Wednesday. We already ready for snow. The Department of Transportation tells Eyewitness News 600 trucks will be out with about 200 contractors on standby, equipment and sand ready to go. In Waterbury, Public Works will have crews out before, during and after the storm and they're ready to deal with either high snowfall totals or the storm lasting over a period of days. Both of those um, situations, you know, one to three inches, you react a little bit differently when they're but they're talking three to five and that can change winter storm able is definitely going to put a damper on things with respect to this long holiday weekend and so the department of transportation is saying that if you are going to be heading out of the state to head back home to wherever that is you want to make sure to either go before the roads start to get really bad or to wait until they are cleared. And we will talk more about that coming up in the next half hour. We're live in the early warning weather tracker. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.